Okay, Ollie, well, welcome to Sandy Park. It's been a while for you to get here, but uh, now you're here and you're settling in nicely, I'd imagine. Yeah, I've um, I've been, you know, in, in, included very, um, you know, easily into the setup. Um, I knew the boys did a lot of running around in pre-season, um, and it has been tough, but um, I can't wait for the season to get started. I was going to say you know a few of the boys from from previous things. That I'd imagine that helped the settling in process. Yeah, definitely. I know. Um, you know, a few of the guys that I've played with at age group level, and and the know, coaches, and, and the coaches um, who are, you know have been away with uh, this summer, and then of course guys from from Bath, like you know, like like Ollie Woodburn as well. So yeah, I know a few of them here. Obviously, we're only now a few days away from that first pre-season, but that's the hard work's almost over, and this is where we start the business end of the season. Now. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the boys have gone really well. Had a couple of sessions down on the beach, which was a bit tasty, and the guys can't wait to get started next weekend. So, what attracted you to the Chiefs? I think just um, just the style of play, the style of rugby that they play, and you know the team ethos here. You know you can you can sense sense it when you play against it. And when I when I turned up the first day, you know there's a real vibe about the club, and you know it's um, you know you want to be part of that. So um, you know that was the main factors for me. As a kind of West Country boy, though, it's, it's massive to have this kind of big rugby rivalry. But Bristol back in there, Bath are there, Gloucester, Worcester to some extent. It's uh, it's, it's going to be some tasty fixtures this oh, year. It'll be fantastic. I, uh, you know, I'm looking forward, to, you know, to that fixture against Bath and, and of course, Bristol, who are now up in the Premiership. And uh, looking ahead to the next two weeks, though, a testing pre-season with with Scarlets first, Ulster, and then the Dragons. They're going to be three good tests in themselves. There are. Um, you know, I think. You know, both those, all those teams have gone well in their, you know, in their respective competitions, and um, you know it's going to be, it's going to be tough. We're under no illusions, it's going to be a tough game. Look back at uh, the summer for you, though, and like you say, you were working with a number of chiefs and with Ali Hefer. Um, you've got an insight into the club then, I'd imagine as well. Yeah, I think um, you know it's a fantastic, fantastic tour, and you know a good group of lads, and um, I got a, a little taste of, of what was to come. I think um, you know Ali certainly has his ways of playing the game, and it was nice to you know to be fed in and. You know, having played a couple of games in South Africa under that style of rugby before I came here, so yeah, it was it was good to to, uh, to sort of be, you know, be put under that that sort of style of rugby before I came to Exeter. And I know when we spoke previously, you talked about the atmosphere on a match day. Coming as a visitor, now you're going to have the full-on tomahawk chop yes, right behind you. Now it's it's, it's going to be pretty pretty special for you. It's fantastic. I think you know the games that I've played here, you know, on the op opposite team, the games that I always remember. I think you know the atmosphere is. It's fantastic and uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to get started. Brilliant.